Hey guys, it's Sheldon back with another review, and today we're looking at the super action statue Trish Una from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5, Golden Wind, or Bento Aurea. Alright, cool, let's take a look at the box really quickly over here, and here's something that I noticed, is that the box actually has a, well, not the box, but like, this, I don't know what this is, but the design actually has some sparkles in it, and I don't think that's a... Uh, that's common to every single figure, and I wonder why that is. I'll have to go look at it later. Uh, maybe it's like a family thing, maybe Diablo has it, but yeah, see, she has sparkles, um, Spice Girl does not, which is the next review. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see here. So you got that nice gradient, alternate head, alternate hands, which we'll take a look at in a second here. Display stand, of course. Uh, and then you have some box art here, box window. And then more box art. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at the accessories more closely. Okay, so here we go. Here we have a quick visual of all the stuff she comes with. Just some hands, uh, a gun from when I think she switches body with Mista, uh, screaming head. And of course you have this, uh, this little manual telling you what her articulation is like. Okay, so actually, let's go ahead and take a closer look at each one of these. Okay, here she is with fists. Here she is with some open hands, just fingers straight. Here she is with uh, more relaxed hands again this time, just, uh, yeah, not straight, just more relaxed, and they're open again. And then here she is with these uh, trigger finger hands, so yeah, they come with uh, one for each side, and you can put the gun in either hand there. Cool, so that pretty much does it for the hands, and I guess the, the gun itself, which I'll take a close look at uh, right about now. Uh, so let's see over here. Uh, so the gun itself, it's mostly just one color. Oh, it's so dark. Well, let me see if I can make this a little brighter. Okay. Um, so the gun itself, it's, uh, it's pretty dark and it's mostly just gunmetal black. Uh, so it is glossy. You can see the light shining off here. Uh, let me see if there's any other paint though. Um, so I'm peering over the camera and it looks like it's mostly one color. Maybe this metal is a different color where the handle is, but yeah, overall it does look pretty nice though. Um, it doesn't just look like a piece of plastic and it is painted, so that's nice. Uh, and then she comes with this accessory right here and I don't remember, so if you remember please help me out uh, in the comments, but it's a hand coming out of a ladybug. So, I mean, given that it is a ladybug, I'm sure Giorno did something. I just don't remember what this was. So yeah, he, here's the accessory. I, I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. Okay, if you know, please let me know. Uh, and then of course she comes with this alternate yelling face right here. Um, so let's put this one next to her regular face though. Hopefully I don't mess up the focus. Here we go, boo, right? Uh, <laughs> she looks so funny. Uh, okay, so you see here, um, you know, mostly the same except for the open mouth, eyes a little bit wider here, and the eyes are painted very sharply, and even the eyelashes over there. And does she have eyeshadow? Let me see. Uh, okay, no, no eyeshadow, but um, like the eyelid, you can see up there, it's even sculpted, the eye socket, I mean. So it's really nice. And while we're here, actually, let's take a look at the head sculpt and hair. So the hair is done pretty well. Um, the hair, it's like nice and sharp, not chunky. Uh, and it looks like there is some shading in there. Yeah, overall pretty nice. Okay, cool. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, figure itself now. Okay, so Trish stands about, she's kind of hunched over a little bit all awkwardly here, about 15, a little under 15, about, f um, well, oh what? Okay. Let me see. Uh, okay, about 14 and 3 quarters, so almost 15 centimeters, which comes out to uh, a little about 5 and a half. So a little smaller, which is to be expected. Uh, she is a tinier character. Uh, so here she is next to Diablo. And Diablo is a pretty decent representation of the other uh, Bento Rail characters. They're all on the same scale, so a little skinnier, a uh, little tinier compared to the rest of the characters from parts 2 and 4, or 2 through 4, like Caesar right here. So you see, um, I haven't bent over, but if I stand him up, uh, you can see that he is, uh, I would say, a pretty good amount larger and taller, which makes sense. The art style does change to be more uh, kind of feminine as it goes on. Um, as a little fun aside here, I did put the uh, blonde head on top of the uh, alternate, uh, alternate colors, uh, so if you're curious what that looks like, here you go. It actually looks pretty nice. Uh, all right, so here he is next to Caesar. Uh, and then here she is next to big, beautiful Bara Jonathan. So yeah, pretty large. Um, 
so the super action statue does i guess have three scales there's just the uh part five and after uh and then you have parts two two four and then you have phantom blood which is huge uh, okay cool that does it for the size comparison though okay let's talk about the figure a little bit more in depth. Um, so this is actually the very first female super action statue, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I will say right off the bat that super action statue does come up with a better sculpt for future female bodies. So as, as a first go, it's it's decent, but it does have its problems. Uh, let's talk articulation. So one thing that I do want to mention, I don't know if this is just my figure, uh, but the head sometimes when I turn off the whoops sorry um when oh, sorry i got a text uh when when you try to pull off the head because the neck is also on a ball peg and it's exposed like that uh it can kind of come off easily so let me see if i can do this yeah so you can see like the neck comes off with the head which is a bummer and it's not a huge problem because i just hold on to it and pull the head off uh, but it's kind of a pain so that's just something to take note of um Okay, with that out of the way though, let's talk about neck articulation. Let me just zoom in here. Get some better lighting. Uh, Alright, so I mean the, the head has kind of the standard articulation for this line here. Um, so it's on that hinged ball joint over here. Uh, so going forward, just using the hinge, it's not that much. And then going back, you'll see the hair gets in the way. So also not that much. Combined, it's okay, but you see there's only like a little bit here. Um, if you use the combined joint, you get a decent amount going forward. Um, and then for the shoulders, it is just the, um, I guess it's like this ball hinge. You can kind of see the joint right here. So there's no butterfly joint or anything like that. Uh, but you do get the rotation here. Uh, no bicep swivel, but again, that just comes in the, uh, the peg itself like this. So you get about uh, 90 degrees, about horizontal. Uh, and then for the elbows, this is one of my main issues. It's, um, it's single jointed. I don't remember if this is, well, let me see. Uh, no. Okay. So Diablo, you can see has two balls. This only has one, which means you can only get it to about 90. So, I mean, like in general, action figures have this type of articulation, but for super action statue, it's just, I've come to expect like at least being able to get 45. Okay. So, so that is something that I have an issue with. And you notice that the, um, wrist joints are different they're actually closer to figmas it's just this peg uh, with the hinge right here and this is actually a uh, common of all the female figures because they're tinier so you don't get quite good posing uh, but it does work uh, and then for the chest uh, not the chest but the um, I would say yeah I guess the, the the stomach I can't think today the stomach uh, you have a single ball joint over here and you do have a ball joint down here so the articulation appears okay but you start noticing that if you go too far, you get gapping, and then if you go too far to the side, you also look unnatural. So that that kind of is a bummer, which is too bad. Um, and then again, the articulation technically is in the waist, but it's more like, I don't know how, but like wide than it is, um, I don't know, not deep or whatnot. So it's there, but you actually just can't move it thanks to the sculpt. So it is in there though, uh, but really not that much, really limited. Uh, and then leg articulation, basically non-existent, so don't feel perverted, because uh, this is a figure, though. We did it with all the guys, and suddenly if it's a girl, it's so different, right? Okay, anyway, but enough of that. Um, the joint, it's just, just a standard, like, joint. Um, there's not even a thigh swivel in there, and it would be useless anyway, because you basically can't move it. Um, same issue with kakyoin, it's just, well, I mean, it is soft. It's just not soft enough. So this is as far forward as it's gonna go. Um, and then out to the side, it's really just this. That's about it. Uh, and then, yeah, no going back because it doesn't allow you to. And of course the knee articulation technically, technically is there, but you can't really get it again thanks to this piece right here. Um, the ankles, luckily, uh, they're, they're okay. You get pretty good point over here. Uh, here it is going up. You do have a toe hinge, which is actually pretty tight. And you actually get a pretty good ankle rocker out of this, I believe, because there is nothing blocking the way. So there is that. Um, but yeah, the fact that 
I don't know what this is. Is, is it a sarong? Is kind of big and it's soft, but not soft enough. It really does limit the leg articulation. Um, but let's talk paint and sculpt though. So again, you know, paint pretty standard for this particular line. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, and the appearance, it really does look like Trish. It's a nice likeliness. Despite this being such a, a pain in terms of articulation, it looks really good. Like you, yeah, I don't even need to, need to tell you, but it's just painted really cleanly right over here. Whoop. Uh, it's painted really cleanly, uh, so it, it does look good. And then for the sculpting, right, the detail on the choker is also very, very clean and well done. Uh, and he's even got this nice little detail over here. So it's a good looking figure. Articulation is really not the best because it's the, I'll, I'll give them some leeway in that it's the first female figure. They're trying to figure it out. Uh, but would I recommend it? I only got it because I was collecting every figure. Um, so if you're a fan of this character, sure, pick it up. If you're thinking, if you're just kind of like more selective about like figures in general, you could probably pass. The articulation again is not that good. Um, so if that matters to you, then don't buy it based on that articulation. Other than that, it looks good. Um, plus it's one of the first female figures, so that's cool. Uh, okay, well, uh, I guess that pretty much does it for this review. Uh, so if you enjoyed, you know, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Um, or don't, up to you. Uh, and I guess subscribe or follow me on Twitter, which is uh, where I'll try to, I guess, give you guys more updates uh, moving forward. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll put some poses in the, well, I'll put this girl in some poses for you guys at the end here. So yeah, thanks for watching.